Hello everyone, how good of you to join. Welcome back to Android 1800 or Mega City to the old town that we started to create in the last episode. Um, in this episode, I would like to continue with that and also, of course, finish the Iron Tower monument. However, that is still a bit off. So for now, let's have the the next district here, really, uh, to, for that, that I'm going to use worker residences, right? So we have them over there and I definitely would like to use them uh, also because we do need more workers, right? So this is... This is actually paramount. Let's let's downgrade these guys here. That's a, a couple of them. I think these guys. Yep, we can upgrade them. So that's my 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 grooming area, right? So we are we are grooming us uh, the workers there right now. And with that, we can get us a few more over to the newly created worker old town. For now, though, it's only as we can see brick buildings, right? Um, but that's going to change soonish uh, let's just make this one dense again unfortunately i don't really have a really tiny church so we will need to improvise here a bit let's go ahead and have this one here there is another one and that is another one let's just have these guys also connected let's go for my let's go for my church there because i think we do have also this one unfortunately it's not really that much uh, smaller right in comparison but it, it it'll still work out there for us let's go ahead I think we should be able then to squeeze it in here nicely like that. They don't need a church after all, right? So it's the old towns have churches. There is one. There is one. Um, the marketplace we don't really need to have here though. So let's just have the let's have the marketplace over there. Though this one is close enough that it's affecting them positively. Um, so there we have then the church area, right? That we're going to create here. This is still a bit too dense for my taste though. So let's have them a bit further over. Like so. Oh, wait a second. Like so. That's nice. Of course, we want to have tiny, tiny roads in between. Tiny alleys like this one there. And then we have that area available that we can use for a nice plaza area once again. Right? So something like, like that. That we have right in front of the, the church. Uh, I think we might actually be able to move another building in. Let's have an artisan there as well. Um, then we have this whole church ground. Let's get rid of this road there and of that and we can use the town guard the town gatehouse um, right in here. The old one, right? So this one, it's not in use anymore. There is a broken wall right next to it. With also once again a fountain. With also behind it the the guard here again, the hill garden that we have behind the, the church. I think that is fitting. Um, and this whole area is like a big plaza like that you see in uh, many old town areas as well. And then we can have some small ornaments there. By the way, let's go ahead and also have these workers here going for the old skin. It's this one. Perfect. That we can then paint on the whole area like this. And then also, this is a this is really just beautiful skins to be honest, right? Very detailed, very sharp in texture, good to look at. And then also one one bigger one in this the center is a here. For Lord High Admiral Nadaski, another legendary item that we can probably salvage in our <laughs> in our um, scholar residences or in our research institute. That is, go ahead and make some more paving here with the occasional trees in between. That we can have but really not a lot i want to keep this one as densely packed as possible and then a few more trees here in the back that we can also have to complete the next uh, area for the for the old town all right but lo and behold there it is also we have the iron tower completed superstructure has been finished let's go ahead finish that phase all the way to the top Ah, that's nice. Nice fireworks as well. The banner of the cat proudly presents itself. We looked to the skies and claimed them for our own, that all may know, look upon our works and praise the Empire. She's pretty happy about that. Uh, I guess we are too. It's another really tall building now in the center. I think I like this view with the Skyland Tower then in the back as well. Celebrations on the street. The last big monument has been finished thus. Oh look, your 
on to the horizon. The royal airship is approaching. Oh, Let we definitely can't miss air. that. The, the, the queen is, uh, is approaching. Await her arrival. There she's coming. I and Mighty getting our banquet, our emergencies. pudding that she doesn't like, really. Coffee pudding. While the queen is still approaching, let's also have uh, a few more hotels because we're still not really having enough tourists in the city. Um, close to the airport, we can continue. So first of all, we do have still empty ground here that we can use, of course, for some more blocks of houses. Um, there is a pub and a marketplace close by, so we will be able to upgrade them. Go ahead. And finish the outer districts there as well, and then a few more. Should we have one? Yeah, I don't know. Let's keep this one available for now. It's really too close then already to the to the cliffs. And then around the, the airport, of course, I also don't really want to have any further buildings as we do need to have some open ground as well. Um, and here, yeah, for example, in this tiny area, we should be able to afford it. Let's squeeze us in another hotel. Another city hotel, that is. With its own little bus station in between. And since this one is already using now, or is already having a hotel close by, we should probably also have uh, another one here somewhere. I think the smaller version that one with his own little side entrance there as well and the queen has arrived what monarch has not dreamed of leaving such an imprint upon the ages of time today we make history i think she's a bit exaggerating there but okay <laughs> We're only waiting for you to come to the ceremony. Do you really want to make your queen wait? What a splendid venue. The perfect shrine for this momentous occasion. Let the inauguration begin. What an occasion. The splendor, the pomp, the royal guards parading are so proud and also attractive. Where is she though? Ah, take a photo of the queen. Commemorate the moment. Let all future times remember this. Ah, I think there she is. Yep, that's the that's the queen. I and mighty. Looking as sharp as possible. What kind of dress is she wearing there? It's not looking like the usual stuff. HM herself dropped into Crown Falls today for the opening of the Iron Tower, a triumph of the Industrial Age. Some say she came only for the posh nosh at the tower's newly opened restaurant, which is distinctly upmarket, the best in the world. Now we need to decide on her banquet and we have the Dakiri Tropic, rum, rum, sugar and banana. Sounds amazing. For the main course we're going with... Pig, tallow, bread, meat, paprika, corn. Was it the stroke of goulash? No, let's go with the schnitzel. And then we also have the trifle tower dessert. As we know already though, she's not going to like this. Perhaps we should have entrusted this delicate task to someone better suited to cooking. Ah, it's fine. It's fine. And off it goes. She's gone. We have requested. We have finished it thus. The banner of the cat, though, we want to get back here. We also need to decide once again on something. So we got the trifle tower recipe here. Let's quickly have a look at that. And reduces canned food, coffee, and champagne consumption further um, on my on my people. And also gives me 10% more income, is that right? And also one bonus residence uh, if we take this one here. We got the bread, we got the sugar, we got the rum, and we got the Before grapes. We, so this one would be possible. Some... No, Age of expiration needs the gas. Uh, potato, paprika, and beef in addition. And this has the best um, effects there, I think. So the... the the most useful ones for us. So we are going with the Age of Exploration here. And now, fresh off the looms, our tribute. Our thanks for your service, your diligence, and your loyalty. All right, we are do getting a reward. Now, count to three. One, two, and three. Unveil the surprise, dear subject. 
a fitting tribute to the a decorated iron tower <laughs> so that's the one here with the banner of the cat so we can decide uh, upon uh, um, the the basic version which is really looking blend to be honest and then we're going of course with the cat tower and i think i like this one the most and with that we conclude the the tourist DLC itself, of course, we still continue now with it. Um, we get the dish in, as we can see, the resources are coming in for the Age of Exploration. And then we can assign tourists, like we got 2,600 at the moment. And the more we assign to this, the bigger the radius gets, right? The more people are getting affected by this. And as we can see, we can go all the way to this one. That's the maximum amount that we can go with. This is only halfway through. And all these people are now being affected by the Age of Exploration. Um, and that's reducing their need then significantly. Um, so we are already reducing it. The coffee, right? The chocolate and schnapps with the restaurants and the cafes and the bars and stuff like that. Also having the toaster inbound. Um, and this one here further um, in, uh, reduces then the, the consumption. Alright, there's still something going on way. here. That we can check out then. Oh, Sean, I'm also not going with you. Of course. Very good, very good. All of that as well. How many tourists do we have? Three, four at the moment. So we are getting closer to our goal here, 4,000, because the Iron Tower is still not being fulfilled right now, right? The three, five we have now. Um, I really would like to do this. Another thing that I'm checking right now, the lifestyle needs, is reminding me that for the scholars, since we have achieved everything with the scholars, um, it's it's no problem anymore to also unlock their uh, lifestyle needs here, the local and the overseas mail. This will lead to a huge additional inbound of scholars now, pushing us past 10,000 that we have. The other needs here at the moment we don't really need, it's just numbers at this point that we increase. There it is also, Age of Exploration effect is now active for all my people in the surrounding area of the Iron Tower, so that's quite a lot surrounding that. And this will drastically reduce then my consumption of coffee especially and chocolate, which are always rare goods that we have. Gone is also the school here that we no longer need. Let's just have us another um, nice hotel then in this area too. So we can use a double hotel actually by the docks. Like so. With its surrounding area, let's make this one around here and this one around here. And of course, as always, we also need a bus that is also affecting then. Ah, uh, we might just move it over there to take... Ah, uh, this one is already being affected. Perfect. So the uh, cafe we can take into effect here plus the two tourists. This should definitely push us then uh, beyond the 4K. We can use this area here for a smaller market as well that um, I would like to implement. We can have these stalls here. And we can use kind of like the Docklands textures with it because I cannot really build anything on the shore, um, right? So we have the Docklands um, ornaments. Of Her oh, we also get a new dish here, the Brioche Royale. Thank you very much for that. As we can see, here is the end, for example. So let's also go ahead for the pizzeria that we can have over there. And then also some more tables and stuff like that. Unfortunately, also, we are a bit limited by where we can go with that. It's probably best to use... There you go. With some trees in between, a little market area here as well to use the, the space. And we should also pave the roads then. Dirt roads could be gone. There's still a few of them. And we can also continue upgrading then the farmers that we have. Solving the worker problem primarily, um, I guess, as we are still rather low looking on that. Also up here we have way too many dirt roads that I would like to fix. Uh, by the way... This looks like a big major road. We don't need to have it like that. We can also go ahead and have the enclosed trees in this area. To create little avenues there as well. Or alleys, I should say. This one, this one. It is a very prominent plateau here, so having dirt roads is not a good thing. By the way, yep, there we have still lots of workers. I'm down to 200 negative. I would still like to go ahead and upgrade them now to artisans. I know, I know. This is going to be problematic for my pool. 
at the same time, what we can do though is we do have some worker residences, right? Here, for example, there's a worker district. Um, and of course, also closer to my um, industry area, but that's it. We don't have that many. I think the most workers we really have in Catastra. Uh, we do have, yeah, influence is fine, actually. Um, let's get some items over there because we got items that boost the workforce so i don't need to build um that many buildings all the time so this one here affects all the residences with 15 percent um workforce we should have a bit more than that another workforce plus 15 percent with a very senior lecturer <laughs> a very senior lecturer um then we have let's just check it out we could also of course build us our own our own ones that we have income is usually what we have Having some items, there's more coming, by the way, um, right now. But we can already go ahead and build us uh, two trade unions. Um, I will need to tone down further on my defenses, though, in order to afford this, which we can easily do, by the way, at this point, as I really don't need that much defense anymore. So the, the flags we definitely don't need anymore because, yeah, there's barely any airships here. It's Bentis and Hugo's airship. If one of them declares one, me surprisingly enough, then we can still counter that by just building a few more. But I don't think so because we are pretty... Pretty we'll tight now with Benta there too. Doesn't look like she would like to go to war with us anytime soon. So I'm going to I'm going to risk it, let's say like that. And with that we can afford some some town halls. I would like to have definitely one in uh, this area. So we could go, let's just make this one to affect also the whole block down there. So this area I need to to remodel a bit. Um yeah, don't worry. I'm not deleting anything though. <laughs> And then we can have the town hall here. I like the red brick one because I think it fits just right into a a proper worker area, right? Worker residence area. Or worker city, I should say, because that's what it is, essentially. Um, and then we can use, for example, here, the Gordon, the Master Grocer. This one provides beer and with that happiness to all residences. Uh, very good, really, because... We do need happiness in Catastro, to be honest, and beer we haven't provided yet. And then we have our workforce increasing once, so this is 15% for those guys here, and then another 15% as well, dropping us to 600 already. And we can still build another town hall then, just over here somewhere. So we got the, the hospital here in the region. We don't need to have it then central, right? A hospital over there is fine. And then I'm just going to have a second one somewhere over there. And this is already covering already most of it. And with that, I can afford another town hall then for these buggers. Or Catastro. By the way, we have so many bricks here. Let's also make Catastro a proper looking city there as well. A very important one for us, of course, it's providing all the steel and sewing machines and weapons that we're ever going to need. So, of course, as such, it should look proper. Yeah, looking much better now with proper paved roads as well. How's it looking with my tourists? 5,900. We have breached the mark because, of course, once we reach the 4,000, the Iron Tower demand has been unlocked for the tourists. So this one is also now fully used, as we can see. And with that, we have all the needs fulfilled that the tourists want. Bit, right? Because uh, the unhappiness is is reducing the fulfillment that you can have by 20% right now for some needs. So we should um, get us one more here in that gives me a bit more happiness. So the post office, after all, might be a good idea that we have in our city as well. Of course, it's the chief post office, right? So we have normal post offices and then we have the chief post office and that's the one. Let's have it right here at the main road, also close to the bus station. So the need is being fulfilled for this one. And as we can see, provides the services now to my residences. And with that, we should actually fit it in. Is that right? Or did I miscalculate something here? No, it is now being fulfilled. Very good, leading to happy tourists. And now the debuff should also then go away once this is fully grown. Let's just make here the main road around that a bit completed. Still surprises me how mo how many dirt roads we still have across my city. I, you can always find them. Now, what it also finally does is it unlocks the tourist public mooring in Manola. Up to this point, we weren't able to do this because we needed to reach 4,000 tourists first. Now I can do this and now I can upgrade also to our oil harbor, the public mooring that is. It's a tourist public mooring, of course. This is a mod as far as I know. So only now are we able to build tourist buildings then as well in Manola or something we should probably consider, to be honest. It's a nice city here, a nice island, of course. 
and it deserves a proper tourism aspect. And as such, we have the hotels now unlocked. And I would like to start with the first one here in the in the center of Manola then as well, unlocking now the tourist customers for uh, for Manola. Um, we do have now with that also all the available amenities. So that is the restaurant, the cafe um, that I would definitely like to have here somewhere by the by the beach area, right? So that we can finally use this one too. The ferry wheel we should build, of course. Um, yeah, final ornaments are still coming along. And then here. the bus system now too. Uh, let's also have another hotel then over here. So there now, yep, like that. To the hacienda that we have then on the back of it. Right, and we can now also then finalize our hacienda because it will need also some service buildings then along the way. But this is the first step to it. The only thing we really should now already do is having a bus stop here by the public mooring with the hotel. So instead of having ornaments here, we can also use one of them here as a, a bus station, the beginning of it, right? It's affecting all of them. Perfect. And then the first attraction that we need is the hacienda after all. Um, that we should be seeing then Nothing somewhere here for the happiness. There it is, Hacienda, and we do need to have now our first one here. Uh, yep, eh, probably, probably along the main road for sure. And with that, we've also started public transportation in Manola, but of course, the details we need to work out now as well as we progress that. That's the first time that I'm introducing tourists to Manola. Going to be interesting. As we can see, the first ones are moving in now. Lots of needs that we'll need here, all the way up to, to the Cristo Redentor, so the statue of Cristo. Uh, going to be interesting how this one looks in reality. 2,500 tourists we need for that. And this is um, another endgame activity that we can follow along now. So far so good. I'm waiting for some items down to get to Catastro and then we can continue on what's here. Stay tuned.